All right, we're going to work on the uh, pop-up camper. We're going to make that fit into that. Uh, this is not new territory, I'll be honest with you. I am uh, copying videos off of YouTube. Uh, another guy did pretty much the same thing uh, idea-wise, but uh, I'm going to sh show you how I did it, the actual process. So. Um, I'll walk you through it. It's real simple. Uh, the first thing we did was uh, measure the opening from the lip here all the way up underneath. I have about three quarters of an inch. So I went with uh, some scrap lumber I had laying around because I'm cheap. Cut it to length. Painted it. Mounted this L bracket on here. This is a, uh, a ace. These are 10 bucks. They're 12 inches. Well, there you can read the part number yourself. Um, 12 inches by 8 inches or something. And it's real simple. You simply take the uh, board. I made marks here, by the way, on my camper right here. That's where the board goes. That's where the other board goes, up on top, a couple of marks up here, here, right there, there. Slide it up, slide it up. I have to lift up on it about a quarter inch. Same thing here, slide it up. Now, there's two things about this I need to point out. Take a closer look at it. Is this, I made sure, uh, I guess you can't see it real well, 
that this board is not messing with my canvas so I don't think I'm gonna rip my canvas uh, with the board and if you notice the end of the board was rounded off nice and smooth okay so now I have a hole here that I drilled through and I'm gonna put a, a lag bolt in from the inside and a wing nut here to keep it because this is a chair here somebody could easily sit here and push this board out and uh, have the whole assembly come crashing down so I have to fasten it down here at the bottom and that's gonna work well I'll, uh, when I get the bolts later on I'll, uh, I'll show it to you so so that's the easy part now you have the board I have four of them again these were just scrap boards laying around okay um, just like that all right they're just uh, the same size boards whatever it was okay so that's my shelf got one more piece here this piece has uh, lag bolts in it a uh, quarter 20 and they line up with the hole here right there and over here you gotta fiddle with it a little bit don't know if I can do this with one hand there it goes all right and I don't have them yet the wing nuts go on here so that keeps the stability and then the boards all just lying up with each other here I'm going to leave them loose I think I'll be okay I had it running all day yesterday and it did okay but in the direct sunlight that is south and the sun beats down on this thing relentlessly until about five or six o'clock at night so so that's the installation I'll simply plug it into to the campground power and uh, on the inside I'm having a bit of a dilemma that's what it looks like on the inside now the blue painters tape is on there to help seal the machine uh, to the screen because the screen is still on here okay so I didn't cut the screen or anything but when I saw the guy make his video so this flap goes up so it's all intact I can take this all off the camper's fine so the guy in the video on YouTube and I'll put a link to his video down below um, he uh, he also insulated a lot of his camper but he didn't he had push button controls on his air conditioner and I did not know <laughs> I didn't see his video before I bought the air conditioner I ordered it from Amazon all the stores around here have been sold out for a week it's been really freaking hot so I'm an idiot for buying it when I did but it has knobs now you cannot grab the knob and turn it through the screen without wrecking the screen all right so all you have to do is open the door reach reach behind the board there you can see I can operate the knob just fine so basically on this one that's off and that's on high there's no reason to change anything else so that's what it looks like hopefully you can see me reaching here so 
Bummer. So before you do this project, do yourself the favor and find one with the push button controls or a uh, remote control. So I'm a little bummed out at this air conditioner. It seems to work okay. Now, I had it on yesterday and the top of the camper here had to be 100 degrees, easily. It was scorching hot. So you sit here on the bed and you'd, uh, you'd be hot. You'd sit right here, here's the air conditioner. You sit across from the air conditioner right here in this area here and you were nice and cool. But here again, this top was hot. I mean, I, I should pull out my uh, uh, thermostat and measure how hot that thing is. So there's no way in that kind of heat that this little air conditioner can keep up. It just ain't gonna happen, all right? Um, also, um, so here's my solution. I don't know if it'll work, if it's a bad idea, but I bought a silver reflective tarp. And I just bought these clamps from Harbor Freight, they're a dollar each. I clamped them on here and I'm going to closely monitor them for any sort of wear. And this clamps up onto the metal. So, we're going to see how that works. Just to reflect off the heat from the sun, uh, that little air conditioner might have a chance of uh, keeping up. All right, it's been about an hour. It's on noon-ish. And uh, this thing is in full-on sunshine right now. Uh, outside temperature, 64% humidity, 79 degrees outside. All right. It is warmer down here laying on the bed. Air conditioner over here. Uh, I think maybe having a fan blow the air around might help a little bit. And it is showing that it's 85 degrees in here. I'll tell you this much, the humidity is a lot less. So. Uh, this is way more comfortable than if you opened up the windows, I uh, guarantee you. So, I'm going to have to set up a fan. Hold on a second. So I set up the fan. We usually have a fan sitting here and one at the end of the table right over here. I don't have the table in right now. I'm going to let the fan blow across, circulating around. Just get the air moving around the camper a little bit better. Because sitting right here, uh, life is good. You're literally just a, a pull away from a cold one. And uh, I usually have a, a TV set up over there with some Roku, Netflix, um, Amazon, watch a little bit of uh, Vice Grips Garage, stay cool, so, alright, it's working. So, it's about a quarter inch thick, and I'm going to cut this out so it fits in the sh in the flaps right here so from the inside you'll you'll open up the flap stuff a pre-cut piece of this into the flap and zipper it back up and this whole window will have really good insulation on it so uh 
not too concerned about these windows, but this one here. This big clear one. I think putting a sheet of that inside the big window is inside the big window here is gonna cut my heat loss in half. So I'm gonna work on it. I'll bring you back when I have more video. All right, so it's been about a week since the last segment, and I've been playing with the air conditioner and the camper, and I've come to the conclusion that I need to remove a section of screen here because the screen is blocking too much airflow. And uh, uh, trust me, come in here and it feels like the air is going from here right down into here being blocked by the screen. If you put your hand here, all of a sudden it blows harder. So I think we're blocking a good 50% of the capacity of the, the air conditioner. And it's really not, uh, not doing anything for its efficiency. So... I am going to unstitch the screen here, all right, and then I am going to stitch Velcro back on here so the screen can go back up with Velcro so I won't lose any of the functionality of the screen, but when I wind it out of my way, I'm going to just un-Velcro it and pull it down. So. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I measure down from the top of the seam to where I think I want the air conditioner to meet. And it's 12 inches down, so let's go at 12 inches. I really like it. Alright, been working on it for a little while. I've got the whole top row off of here now. I am simply pulling the screen away and cutting the thread here. Much easier. Now I'm going to pull it off this way so I have a little string at the end to tie to tie off to stop the unraveling. You get the drift. I'll bring you back. All right. So here's what I've got. There, the screen is off. I haven't done anything with Velcro yet, but I want to test it. And I can tell you, just turning it on, the airflow coming out of this thing is at least double. I mean, I can feel it coming out hard. So I think uh, this was the right choice. Uh, so here's my plan. We're going to put Velcro on the wood. And Velcro on the outside of the canvas. That will stick it to the wood. Okay? Then I'm going to put more Velcro on the inside of the canvas. And to the screen. So I can Velcro the screen back into place here. When I need it. When I want to... Use the air conditioner, tear it down, it's out of the way. So that's the plan. How I'm going to do that is yet to be determined. So, here's what I'm doing. I'm testing it. And I have this very old 1960s weather station. This thing might be broken, too, for all I know. All right, this is a barometer. It is raining outside. Humidity, 80%. Well, it's raining outside. I'll buy that. So, uh, if it doesn't get rid of the temperature, I might have to find another thermometer. Uh, maybe it'll at least reduce the humidity. 
So I'm going to let this thermometer acclimate itself in here for an hour. Come back. See where we're at. And then I'm going to turn on the air to just see how much cooler it is. I put it over here on the far bed because that's where I sleep. That's where my head's going to be. So I want to know the temperature over there. So, all right, bring it back when it's uh, warmed up. All right, so my digital thermometer in the house says it's 75 degrees out here. Um, the humidity is still showing 79. So it's hot and sticky out here. I am going to turn on the air conditioner. Pull on Max here. Bam, bam. Alright, I can tell you the amount of airflow is wonderful. We're going to let it run. Give it an hour. Come back out here. See what happens. Alright, it's been running for about an hour and it's raining like crazy. And I don't have any leaks. I don't have any leaks around here at all. It's wide open. Uh -oh. So it won't take much to seal it up. So that's good. The temperature in here is crazy cold. Uh, but it's 73 degrees outside right now. According to Google. And this thing's at 61 degrees. And oh, it doesn't know where to do. Let's see here. It's a lot less than uh, 78 bars of humidity. So, this you like to have over here. I don't think this is working. I can tell you one thing. It is really cold in here. Whew. So, all right. I'm happy with that. We'll let it get hot tomorrow and find out how it does in the daytime. All right, here we are the next day after unsewing the uh, screen on the inside. It's uh, about uh, 11 a.m., uh, 10 a.m and it's about 75 80 degrees out here today so let's go inside and see how we're doing all right a lot warmer in here according to mr cheapo thermometer 82 humidity in here where are you going? Seventy-eight. All right. I uh, am going to just simply close the curtains here. Lock out some of the sunshine. I do have insulation for the windows. I'm going to get to it just for today. There we go. That's all I'm getting. I'm going to turn on the blaster here to maximum. Ah, now I've got you watching air blow at me. I make such interesting videos for you guys to watch. So, um, I'm going to come back in one hour just like I did yesterday, last night. And see how this thing cools off in here. 
keep an eye on Mr. Thermometer. And this part here, I'm going to go get my uh, temperature gun and see what kind of temperatures we're getting off of that. Alright, I have my infrared thermometer. Alright, gotta pull the trigger. Gotta change it to Fahrenheit. And wherever the dot points is our temperature. So let's point the dot up there. So a good 73 degrees coming out. This is eye hand coordination at its best. Okay, so about 70 degrees coming out of the air conditioner. The roof. 115 degrees, even with that tarp on top of there. So, believe it or not, that is a success. Uh, let's measure this side. It's only 92. 117. So, you're talking about that much heat input into the camper. We're putting in 110 degrees. And we're taking it out only at 75 degrees. So this one is away from the sun. We're still pulling 103, 105, 110 degrees. So this is why you want a shady campsite. <laughs> so you keep the sun off. Now here's the real worry wart. Huh. The, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. So it actually does a pretty good job, those curtains. That little bit of sunshine down there is heating up the, uh, Bench. So, all right, let's see how accurate my thermometer is here. It says it's 88 degrees in here, and my digital says 89. So, this thermometer is within a degree. Now for something that's probably 40 years old, I'd say that's alright. So, alright, that's where we're at. Um, I don't think this is going to get much hotter. It hasn't been an hour yet, but I can tell you this much. The humidity in here is uh, uh, comfortable, okay? So it's definitely making a difference. I can tell you this this tent would be a sauna right now without this air conditioner in here. So, and I think if I'm in some shade, uh, I'll be just fine. Because last night in the dark, this thing made it an ice cube. So I can almost guarantee I'll have a cool night's sleep. So. Uh, the next thing to do is the Velcro along the windows here. I gotta figure out the top. So I still have this big air gap right here. So, there's huge gaps all the way around. So, we can work on sealing things up. I'll bring you back for that. Alright, so we're gonna finish this video up. We went camping for seven days last week and the air conditioner performed wonderfully. I made some changes to it. First things first is I had to drill the hole right here because there was no drain. And when it rained on top here, 
it filled up the whole bottom tray. You hear the water splashing around in there every time we ran the damn thing. So I put a drain hole in here, and then I put this in, in the wood, which then drains down the tube. All right, and then get the camper here. So that worked out real well because right down in here, we set up a table with all our food and whatnot on it. So I did not need the air conditioner dripping uh, down onto the food. This whole air conditioner uh, shifts that way. But you get the idea. Um, I don't know if I mentioned I put this grain on here. That's worked out well. We were at a campsite that was half shade. So this half of the camper was in shade while the back half was not. Putting the tarps on top of the back of the camper worked awesome. And uh, we were dry, cool, and comfortable the whole week. So seven days of camping, it was awesome. So uh, this is definitely a recommended upgrade. I have not finished the Velcro around the screen yet. I'll work on that. But for now, I'm calling it done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make a comment. Got a question? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I appreciate it all. Have a good day. Bye bye.